What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we are jumping into Spider-Gwen Annual issue number 1 2023 and this is another issue of Contest of Chaos. And as we dive into part 6, we have Ghost Spider versus the White Fox. And I for one am very excited to see that the White Fox is here. Are South Korean superheroes really getting some spotlight? But when it comes to the Contest of Chaos, we have seen that Agatha is working to rebuild the Dark Hold. She is putting together her ultimate team. The end goal is still unknown. But obviously, this team is going to have to take on somebody. We are slowly inching our way closer to figuring out who that might be. So let's find out which one of our heroes is about to join the team. Make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you like this video. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we are picking up with Gwen, and Gwen is finding herself in a place that she doesn't recognize. One moment she was on Earth, the next moment she's finding herself in what looks to be some kind of medieval time period. And of course, Gwen at first believes that she is dreaming. She was so tired that she was unable to stay in medieval history class. And so the leap that this is dreaming really isn't that big of a jump. But this is when the wizard shows her the orb. The same orb that we have seen many of our heroes fighting over. Gwen is being told that she is the protector of this orb. And right now, White Fox and her forces, they are descending down on them. They are getting ready to siege the castle. With Gwen and the wizard headed up to the wall, they see the forces standing outside. They see White Fox riding her dragon. And Ghost Spider being who she is. She wastes no time and she jumps right over the castle wall. She immediately goes to attack White Fox, telling White Fox that she needs to get out of here. That her and whatever creature she brought with her, they are the ones trying to come and take this kingdom. But White Fox is under the impression that our spider is the one that stole the orb. Both of them saying that they're not supposed to be here. The last White Fox remembers she was somewhere below Seoul, South Korea. She was fighting alongside Tiger Division. But after she got knocked through a wall, she found herself in this medieval time period. While these two are really trying to hash out what the heck is going on, we see White Fox's dragon go up and it takes the orb from this wizard. Taking that orb, the dragon puts it in its mouth and it swallows it whole. As it begins to fly off, we see White Fox and Ghost Spider jump onto the dragon, with White Fox refusing to back down, saying that she is going to get this orb one way or another. She draws out a sword and she opens up the dragon, but cutting the dragon open, we see that this looks more like wires than actual flesh and blood. As the orb begins to fall from the sky, both Ghost Spider and White Fox, they go chasing after the orb only to fall in some kind of sludge. And when they come to the surface, they see that there are individuals there waiting, looking like this is almost freaking Waterworld. Also learning that the dragon and many other things were animatronics. This is when Ghost Spider really starts to figure things out. As the people on the jet skis take off with the orb, Spider Gwen using a web and she begins to follow behind them. At this point, she's wondering if White Fox might be a robot. At first, she believed that they were in another dimension, but she has soon figured out that this is called Quest World, an abandoned Japanese theme park. Imagine Westworld, but in Marvel Universe. But with a huge explosion, the two of them are transported somewhere else, appearing to be 1920s gangsters. The gangster is looking for the orb, but knowing that these are animatronics, as they face off against Capone and all of his goons, they know that they don't have to hold back. And in the blink of an eye, we are transported yet again, this time to Electro Tram 2000. Now at this point, White Fox and Spider Gwen, they figured things out. They understand that the orb has some kind of control, has some kind of power. 
both of them ready to slit each other's throats just to get a hold on it. That it is making them violent and obsessed. But now they have no choice but to follow it. As they make their way through this ride, we see the orb pinging left and right. The thing is, neither of them want to grab it. Some kind of mystical orb that is trying to control them. And so by the end of this, we see them both on the ground, the orb in front of them. Neither one of them wanting to pick it up. This is where Agatha comes into play. Because these two, they're just not following the rules. They're not listening to what should be done. And whatever powers this orb may have, it's obviously not working anymore. We have seen this a handful of times with a handful of individuals. And it is no surprise that yet another spider person is able to break the hold of this orb. And it would appear that White Fox also has the capability of resisting. But at this point, both of them are saying that neither of them are going to fight one another. But Agatha tells them that if you don't, if one of you don't win, if you guys do not fight, then everyone you know dies. Not just you, but all of them. Not really sure if this is the truth or not, neither of them have an option. They have to fight. And so the brawl begins with Ghost Spider getting the first punch. But we see White Fox quickly transform into her fox form. Spider Gwen asking what the heck she is. She is the last of the Kumio, the last of the mystical Korean shapeshifters, the last of the fox spirits. And now, she is ending this fight, with White Fox turning back into her regular self, taking that orb and smashing it against the face of Ghost Spider. Just like that, this match is won. Apologizing to Gwen, but Gwen saying good luck and that she will find you, that she will save you as well. Meanwhile, we have had Spider-Man and Jessica Jones trying to figure out what the heck has been going on. This led them to Clea Strange. And Clea, she has been investigating what is happening. While she was doing her investigation, Agatha came to her, letting Clea know that I know you are looking into all of these matters, but there is something that you don't understand. Agatha has brought her to the astral plane, because Agatha plans to explain everything to Clea Strange, because more than anything, Agatha needs Clea to trust her. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Yet another fun issue coming from the Contest of Chaos. And anytime I get to see a member of Tiger Division, especially White Fox, I am a huge fan. But this comic was quite interesting, as we jump through our Westworld type world, known as Quest World. We see at first, this orb is really able to get a hold over them, but it doesn't take long for them to break the hold. Not knowing the repercussions of not fighting, they had no other option, assuming that everyone they know would die if they didn't fight. And though Ghost Spider, Spider Gwen, she may be strong, she may have great potential, but going against the likes of White Fox, this was a fight she was never going to win. Not without a lot of luck and a lot of chance. But now White Fox has been added to the ranks of Agatha's team. Agatha obviously preparing for something big, something great headed their way. This makeshift team is gonna have to face off against some kind of monstrous evil. Agatha has been looking like the bad guy this entire time, but what if her intentions are pure? What if there is something that is truly coming for them and none of them are prepared? Let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories. If you would like to get completely caught up on everything going on with this series, go ahead, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It is going to get you completely caught up on everything going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50, from loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. If you were unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.